Welcome to you, my name's Dale and this is Dale's Addiction. This is my next instalment of learnings from the program that I'm currently um, really, really enjoying and learning so much from, which is Caitlin's Five Stages of Style and I will link it in the description box below. Now obviously I'm not going to be giving away her content for free but I am going to be sharing with you what I've learned about myself and my own colouring which is the context of this video. Now I'm just taking you through what I've learned and how I've applied it and what I've noticed as the difference as I have with all of the other videos. So obviously by what you can see today I'm embracing colour. And I think one of the big epiphanies that I've had from this particular module is why I'm drawn to certain colours and why I feel great in certain colours and not others. So I'm going to share with you some outfits today that kind of demonstrate what I have learned. Um, from the positive side, uh, I'm going to dig out some pictures from my Instagram on the more negative side um, because I don't have those things anymore. <laughs> because I did the wardrobe detox and if you didn't see the wardrobe detox video I will link that one above here and in the description box as well as my first vlog where I kind of talk through body shape and facial features. Um, you will notice today that even though I've got curved fa facial features that I have straightened my hair I've just blown it out and kept it a bit messy and I'm making my own rules today so you know I think you still need to be conscious of what your personal style is. So what have I learned about my colour? Well quite obviously you can see that I have pretty tan kind of olive skin um, so hands and face um, my whole body looks like this basically whether I'm in the sun or not and when I go in the sun I tend to tan pretty easily and a pretty golden kind of shade of brown yes I realize that I am blessed in that regard there are so many people that are paying for fake tan all over the world so I totally get that so I've got really warm skin tone and I always thought that that meant I was warm um, and I should wear warm colors and I could never figure out why I hated them on me and I thought oh I'm just rebelling um, I just don't want people to tell me what to wear well it turns out that I'm not actually warm my only warm feature is my skin I've got really cool eyes so if you take a close-up look at my eyes uh, my eyes are green but they're a really cool green they're not hazel and so um, this natural light actually makes them look almost see-through uh, but yeah so really cool eyes and cool hair so I um, naturally have warmer tones in my hair but I change them I prefer ashy colors in my hair and so my hair is cool it has more of a cooler um, ashy approach and that's what I like so because I have two cool and one warm feature then I am more likely to be complimented by colors that are of cooler tones so that was a big whoa moment for me because I love cool tones but I don't know why <laughs> Um, I really struggle wearing beiges, um, particularly very yellow beiges close to my face um, without breaking them up with some kind of white or black, which are both kind of cool tones. Um, I struggle with wearing camel colors. So my trench is always over the top of something bright and colorful or black or white. Um, yeah, I, you know, in winter time when browns and mustards, like witchery at the moment, it's a lot of browns and mustards, they just do nothing for me. They're too warm. I need a cool toned brown. And that's why the Fendi Zucker, and I'll hold up my baguette instead of my jacket, this brown works really well for me because it's cool. It's not warm. Um, and that's just another reason why Fendi and I get along so well. So I want to show you a couple of outfits to demonstrate um, how I've applied this theory. The other thing that I've picked up is, you know, the contrast between all my features. Um, and without going too far into the detail, I'm kind of a medium contrast. Like my features are pretty much in tune with each other, but they're quite bright. So I can get away with reeling with wearing really bright colors whereas if my features were a bit lighter like if my hair was more of a mousy brown and my eyes were more 
of a hazel green then I'd need to probably go with more muted kind of tones but because I've got bright eyes bright lips I purposely have no lipstick on in this video so this is my natural lip color um, and bright hair then my chroma is pretty high so I can wear bright colors um, there's lots of great videos around color theory on YouTube I don't profess to be an expert I'm just letting you know what I've learned um, and here's how I have applied it so this first look that I want to share with you um, is featuring a little uh, a few new bits and pieces that I have picked up actually so another one of the wardrobe basics that was recommended um, is a pair of you know light colored pants and it's something I've always struggled with being a more curvy girl you know it's really hard to find a platter a flattering colored a flattering pair of light colored pants and then I went into witchery the other day and curiosity got the better of me and I picked up these Sadie cords and you can see that they have just the slightest little thin cord there and that texture is enough to disguise any lumps and bumps um, they are a really flattering fit on me um, you'll see them in this look that's coming up but they're a really flattering fit on me and I feel good oops I feel good wearing them um, and I love the texture in them because I think that they will move from winter to summer really well because they're light but the cords are really thin so that was a win and then I had Lily Stilk reach out to me and to be honest I said look I see a lot of your products on YouTube at the moment I'm not particularly interested in a collaboration and they said well how about we just do some affiliate links um, and I'm like cool um, so I picked a couple of pieces because as you know um, if you follow me on Instagram I'm I'm trying to convert my outfit of the days into um, affiliate links so so many of you tell me that you purchase things as a result of seeing my bits and pieces and I thought well who's the silly one here like it costs you nothing extra I'm wearing it anyway why don't I do some links so I thought that was a bit of a winner and one of the things I really wanted was this beautiful sweater now again the texture on this it has this diamond print um and so i'll show you show it to you in the video but i wore it yesterday and i posted it on my outfit of the day in this total tonal look um and i didn't want to take it off it is the coziest sweater it is absolutely beautiful it's a hundred percent cashmere it, I just wore it with a bra underneath like there's no scratchiness you can wear the collar like I've got mine at the moment like a little bit disheveled or you can fold it under um, I've teamed it with a pair of white Stuart Weitzman slingbacks and an old country road coat um, in the you know more dressy version of the outfit but then I have um, and my I um, love it with monogram so you'll see that I teamed it with the Louis Vuitton favorite bag and then I've kind of bought it back um, for my outfit of the day and I've worn it with my Valentino sneakers and a Burberry trench coat and my new Fendi mini baguette and I just like honestly this 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 it like say what you want about you know influencer collaborations but this is just <laughs> divine like I want more colors um, the other colors are actually quite warm um, and so for me they're not going to work for my complexion but this is perfect this is a keeper this is one that I'm going to have forever and I do get a 12% discount um, if you use the code Dale um, for Lily Silk, so you'll see the links in the description box below. I know when I posted this on Instagram, a few of you have already bought it and just said it's so soft and gorgeous and the pricing is really good. So um, that's my first outfit, all white, works for me, pops the eyes, makes the complexion easily look fresh. Um, and that's kind of what you want from your colors. So the next look is the icy blue look. Um, I featured it on Instagram a little while ago and I thought I'd replay it here for you. Um, again, more cool colors. So I've just gone head to toe blues. Um, well, not exactly toe because 
the toes are white but here I'm just wearing a sweater from Culinary. It's like an icy blue. It's really beautiful. And these blue Jakuba Becky jeans that I've been featuring a lot with my Chanel denim jumbo from the 20B. And you can just see that my complexion, you know, it just pops with these cool colors. Um, and I think that's, you know, that's kind of what you want when you are buying clothes. And as I've said all along um, with the little things that I've shared from this video series, it's kind of helping you understand the why. But then it's also um, helping kind of cut your shopping time or make it more efficient because you can automatically go to palettes, um, color palettes that work for you, but also um, the style of things that work for your body shape. So it's just kind of the layers of understanding, you know, how to flatter your best parts and conceal the bits that you're not so comfortable with. So this next look is featuring the jumper that I'm wearing right now, an absolute steal. Um, this one I picked up in Kmart for 25 bucks. Um, you know, it's definitely not the quality. It's a bit, it's a bit hot, doesn't breathe as much, but the color is amazing. So good for a cold winter's day. Um, and again, I've paired it with the jeans. So I've got cool, cool colors, um, my Fendi strap, which I love. And again, you can just see it really makes my eyes pop and brings out my natural colors. And I wear really light makeup and you can kind of tell that a color works for you if you feel really done without having to cake on the makeup and concealer because you'll normally see under your eyes, it doesn't look the best. So here I've gone for a bit of a darker palette. Um, I know I'm wearing, burgundies which are a blue based kind of um, dark red um, so you can see here it's not a brown base it's a blue base um, so for me it works and again hair eyes and these colors really pop on me I've teamed it with some blush pink it's like a universally flattering color um, so there is a pink out there for everyone but yep again really works with my skin hair and eyes um, so another great tonal look and I'm actually playing around a bit more with doing um, more tonal looks it is something I picked up in Europe back in I think it was the 2018 trip I really noticed so many people wearing tones of similar colors whether it be whites or reds or pinks or whatever color it was and I thought it was a really sophisticated look so I think given that I like colour, I'm going to try and do that with colour a lot more. It wouldn't be a Dale Starling video if we didn't feature some lilac. So here's my new Zimmerman Liar Billow dress, um, Liar for Liar Bird, not Liar Liar Pants on Fire, um, in my Hero Colour Lilac. Just love purples, love those cool purple icy lilacs. This one's a little warmer, but again, it's I think it still works on me. Um, love this color love this dress always um whenever i wear lilacs and greens on my videos and pinks actually you guys always say oh you look really lovely today um and that's one of the things that the um stylist caitlin said you know where do you get find you get the most compliments and you guys are a treasure trove for compliments like honestly you're so sweet and kind to me and i guess you give me feedback around when i'm looking great Nobody really tells me when I'm not looking great, but you definitely tell me when I do. And those outfits kind of stick with me in terms of, oh, I wonder what it was about that that made people think that it looked good. Um, and then I've got a pink. So this one's interesting because it's a warmer pink, but it's brought back by this really cool green blue. This is another Zimmerman dress. Um that I absolutely love and I bought last season. So it's old. I don't think I'll be able to find that one and link it. But again, it's one of my favorites. And I think it's because it's got that greeny blue that comes right up to the face. Um, so it takes away from those warmer pinks and really balances out my complexion. So there's a couple of photos that I want to show you just to give you a bit of a contrast. They're the things that really work for me, how I've applied them, you know, cool colors from the cool side of the color palette. But there are things that I have worn and that I love but just don't work for me. And I either need to figure out how to restyle them or figure out how to say goodbye to them. Now, the, um, you may recall when I purchased my new Burberry trench. Actually, I'll get my trenches and I'll show you. So this is my original. This is the Buckingham trench in stone. And this is the Kensington trench in honey. Now, this one 
absolutely adore it. It's just a little too small for me to be able to wear with chunky knits and things like that and I wanted to try and replace this and it's been discontinued. I'm going to put it out there to you guys again. If you come across a Buckingham Trench in the medium length, in stone, in a UK 14, hook me up because I want it. Um, I settled for this Honey Kensington and the colour is just not as good on me. You can see, you can start to see some like darker colours under my eyes. So I've really, it's, <laughs> do I regret buying this? I probably do, yes. I probably should have got a stone trench. I'm making it work because I'm just wearing the colours underneath that kind of break this up. But if this colour is against my face and you can't see, let me just turn it around. And you can't see any of the green. Um, you might, you can just see that I'm much darker under my eyes. Um, it's not offensive, but it's not as good as if I put the stone under. It's very awkward, but see, it's much brighter. So um, that's just showing you, you know, the difference between those. So um, I've got to really think about what I do with that trench now. Um, I mean, I'm going to style it up and continue wearing it over this winter, but I may well go back to the drawing board, try and find myself a stone coloured trench um, with the black buttons instead of the honey coloured buttons, um, just because I think it's way more compl complementary to my complexion. And it shouldn't be a hassle to pick up your trench and put it on. It should just be a staple. And my stone one was, um, yeah, or the other option is I just lose some weight. <laughs> so that's kind of what I've learned about color and me and how to apply it. And I guess you're going to be seeing, you know, if you go look through my Instagram, um, you'll see that most of my color palette is cool and that was before I knew anything about this particular <laughs> theory. Um, and I'll pop some pictures up here while I'm talking to you now. I'll just move over a little bit so they can fit in. Um, but yeah, there's quite a lot of cool outfits in my colour palette. And I think that they're very complimentary. It's interesting though, I can wear more warm colours in summer because I go much more golden. So when my skin is darker, I can get away with wearing warm colours. There is a um, like an apricot orange um, dress that I wear quite a bit through the summer. It's just an easy throw on and go casual dress from Kavari. Um, that's very warm, but I don't wear that in winter. So I really don't notice it in winter. But there's a couple of warm ones that um, really come to mind. There's this like brown rust colored dress that I wore with my Chanel 19 from the 21P collection. Again, now I know why I don't like that bag. <laughs> Too warm. Um, and brown boots. And you can see like my complexion is really sallow. Um, yes, it's a nice outfit, but it's not, it's not doing this for me like this is. So... I think that kind of, it just helps so much to understand why that would never really work. Another dress that I used to wear quite a bit that was really warm beiges and yellow greens. Um, I, I threw that one out quite a bit, quite a while ago. Well, I donated it and I could never work out why it was such a beautiful dress, but it just did not look any good on me. Um, objectively, those colors, they're just not my colors. Um, they just really wash me out. And it, so the dress can be beautiful, but it doesn't look the best on me. And it's just, whoa, you know, like that's such a helpful thing to apply when you go shopping. And yeah, there might be on-trend colors out there. But for me, I've got to go with the mid-tones or the cooler end of the scale. Um, as soon as things start to show an undertone of yellow, like it's just not gonna work for me, at least not near my face. Um, I can experiment a lot more with warm colors on my bottom half because they're not near my face. Um, so they won't have as much of an impact on my complexion, but I've got to keep it cooler or mid-toned on the top half. Um, so it explains so many things. Like I tend to go with really, um, cooler tone like eyeshadows um, so pinks because pink is in the opposite side of the color wheel to green so pink and green work really well together who would have thought <laughs> um, 
Fendi made to order. Now I understand why I love you because my face is pink and green. Like crazy um yeah and lipsticks you know i tend to go for um kind of warmer lipsticks because my skin tone is warmer so i look for like hints of gold flecks in my lipsticks if i wear really cool lipsticks um my face looks so colorful like my eyes pop really green and my lips are really pink and it's just a lot going on and personally I don't like that so um, I tend to go with like more muted warmer colors on my lips which again crazy not yellow but just kind of goldy so yeah anyway bang like I learned some stuff um, and I love sharing those learnings with you I will link some, um, I'll link, I'm going to link the program below. I'm also going to link Caitlin's Instagram because she does these great reels where she explains these things in really lay terms. She does outfit inspiration. Um, she doesn't know I'm doing this, by the way. I'm just doing it. So, um, because I think, you know, people who create great content should be rewarded for that. Um, and, you know, if you want to see great content, go follow her. But, um, yeah, if you're more interested in color theory, uh, I've got a couple of videos that my friend Satna shared with me as well from YouTube. So um, I will link those in the description box below as well. But I hope you've um, learned some things vicariously through me today. Um, and it's been an interesting little update for you on my journey. Uh, again, look, this, this cozy, beautiful cashmere jumper from Lily Silk. It's a great buy. 12% off code Dale go look it up it's also on my like to know it which will be linked below um, I just love it <sighs> but because I do outfit of the day I can't wear it every single day because you guys will call me on that so um, yeah I'm gonna leave it at that thanks for watching if you've liked this video please give me a thumbs up tell me if you've learned anything from what I've shared today and if you haven't subscribed already please consider doing so I'd love to see you back here for my next one. I usually put out videos on Wednesdays and Sundays. So I'll see you then. Bye.